For the past 30 days, I made a challenge for myself to do at least a drawing a day with these alcohol markers. They didn't have to be good, but they just had to be done with this material. And this is because I bought these markers over a year ago, all excited, thinking that it will drastically improve my drawings. Uh, but that never happened because I've been just procrastinating in using them. At the point that I had to make a challenge uh, to force myself to use these markers. I know it sounds funny because there are people out there that are challenging themselves to wake up at 5 a.m. every day for a month or they are quitting sugar or coffee. And then there is me that is struggling to do at least a drawing a day with markers, even a crap drawing but you know it is why it is by the way i have posted all of my drawings on my instagram so make sure to follow me there if you haven't already the challenge was a bit harder than i thought to be honest i know that made it so simple for me to follow it up i didn't have any limit of the quality i had to achieve i just basically had to use these markers every single day even for two minutes but because i made it so simple over the whole month uh, it was also difficult for me to take it seriously and some days uh, i ended up forgetting to draw i know that it sounds like cheating but i ended up making an extra drawing the following day and another reason why i couldn't really take it very seriously was because of the lack of planning i just started off this challenge uh, thinking that i'm going to figure things out and that was good for the first couple of days but after a while i should have made at least a decent plan of uh, how long i should spend uh, in each drawing in the 10th 11th 12th day what type of style i should do in the following five days and also the following 10 days uh, so basically creating instructions and limits to myself to improve my ability to use these markers but because i didn't make this plan i didn't take it seriously I ended up also procrastinating and found it a bit boring doing it every day even a very bad drawing and the main thing is that it didn't allow me to improve my use of these markers by the end of the 30 days i didn't improve much from the first day which i know that i wasn't a target that i set out to do but i had on the back of my mind that by the end of the month I would like to be at least decent to use these markers. I think that I'm alright, but you know, it's not that good compared to so many other people but at least it showed me the importance of planning well everyone knows that planning is important but even for very simple things like uh, using a set of pens every day to draw or um, like markers as i did uh, to do any type of drawing uh, planning should be always incorporated because otherwise it's very difficult to improve i didn't really improve by the end of the 30 days because i didn't plan anything i just went with the flow and i think that if i plan and made some limitations to myself uh, for example in the first 10 days uh, i'm going to allow myself to spend uh, around 5 to 10 minutes i'm not going to spend more than the in each drawing and then in the following 10 days i'm going to at least spend uh, 30 minutes so that i can focus more on the details of each drawing and in the last 10 days i'm going to spend an hour or two hours a day so that i can always improve my details shading and all of that stuff but it wasn't all that negative, at least I filled up half of a sketchbook with very colorful markers and the main thing that I was aiming to was just to use these markers at least uh, for a month because I didn't really use them uh, just once or twice before making this challenge. So in a way it sort of made my money's worth uh, instead of just buying them and never using them, at least I used them even if I didn't really improve in using this medium. But the overall experiment was kind of fun, you know. Some days I procrastinated and I wasn't bothered to get up and start sketching. But then once I started the coloring, it was kind of fun and relaxing. So it's something that I should do more often and also try to include it in my university work uh, just to make things more colorful and vibrant and also stand out from the rest. So yeah, that's all for this video. I didn't have much to say, to be honest, except the fact that, yeah, I finished the challenge. Um, I should have planned that better and I didn't really improve my, my drawing skills with these uh, markers. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed it and if you made it this far you can go and check out this video here if you're interested about the type of work that I do in my foundation here and I'll see you in the next one.